In the latest Warner Brothers blockbuster, Gravity, Sandra Bullock is ejected from her space station after it's hit by debris. Tens of thousands of pieces of space junk are circulating the Earth at any given time. But companies like Astrium, Europe's biggest space company, want to take care of that problem. We are developing uh, the solutions that will allow us to go to space and to move the, the debris, to catch the debris and to move them from their orbit. Uh, the worst case we could, we could face in the recent years was in 2009 when two dead satellites collided each other. Astrium hopes to offer its space cleaning service at a time when competition for rocket launchers is heating up. The Ariana 5 launcher, part of which is being assembled here west of Paris, will soon have to compete with cheaper versions from Russia, India and a newcomer from the U.S. called SpaceX. Behind me you can see that we are lifting uh, the main cryogenic stage of the Ariane 5 launcher. This maneuver only happens a few times a year. When assembled, the Ariana 5 launcher weighs more than 500 tons and costs around $150 million. And Astrium has already started developing its next generation, Ariana 6. The company is already working with NASA to create the next generation of service modules for the Orion spacecraft aimed at missions to the moon and to Mars. For the first time, we will supply parts of rockets to be launched by the U.S. And I would even say this, that the challenge is even higher for us because these will be parts uh, of launchers uh, that will be man-rated launchers. And for us, this will be the first time. The European Space Agency approved a 10 billion euro budget for the programs until 2017, allowing Astrium to develop those new rockets and modules alongside the tools to prevent space debris from destroying them. Matt Miller, Bloomberg.